I was born in South Sudan. We have simple life, but we are very happy. Until I was six years old, when my life completely changed. The place that we know that was peaceful turned out to be chaos. So you just were pulling kids away from their families. I remember my mom was really holding me very, very tight. This big soldier ripped me from my mom and dragged me as I was like crying. In the middle of the night, this kid picked me up, we went through this hole on the fence. And that's when my race officially began. We ran literally for our lives. I kept running and running and running. And you're so tired, six years old, cuts and bruises everywhere in my legs. But giving up wasn't in my vocabulary. One day, when I was 15 years old, there was something called Olympics on TV. The 400 meters was run by an American athlete named Michael Johnson. He was running so fast. He went to the podium, received a gold medal. And that's when I realized, I want to run as fast as that guy for that country one day. It's time for me to be able to represent this country and give thanks to the American people that gave an opportunity to me. 2008, as I was running for the USA Olympic trials, all of a sudden I see my journey. I can feel the thorns and trees, you know, piercing onto my, my feet. Why me? Why am I here? You used to be running away from bullets, but now you're running for joy. You're running for this nation. There on the outside, making his move, is Lopez Lamont. This is about as close as it gets. And all of a sudden, I just had this push all the way to the finish line. My goodness, this young man has come so far. I make the United States Olympic team. Everything shaped perfectly for me. When I saw my mom is still alive. She couldn't even believe like who I am. That's when I know that eight years ago, I saw Michael Johnson in a black and white TV. Now I can put that same jersey on my chest and inspire other kids. If you dream big, you'll get there one day. Mm -hmm.